Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get this gorgeous yellow halo look. So let's get started. I'm using a white base. This is a white concealer. I like white for bright pops of color because it gives them a good background to where the actual color shows through instead of being muted by your skin tone. So I'm just applying this all around my eye with a flat shading brush. This brush is from the BS Mall collection and I use them all the time. You might have to do this layer a couple times, and if you're gonna be using powdered shadows, you're gonna to wanna to set this layer with a white or translucent powder. Now next, I'm gonna be doing my transition. This is a medium neutral brown shade. This is gonna make the crease look a lot less stark and make sure that there's a gradient between the crease and my skin tone. So I'm applying this all over the crease, underneath the eye, and in the inside and outer corner since this is a halo look. This is gonna make the transition look very smooth. Personally, I think this is a step a lot of people forget about because it's really important for creating that professional, really high quality look. Now we're moving on to the crease. I am using a deep red toned brown. This color is called Garnet. This is a cream to powder shadow. So first I'm applying in the inside and outer corner because that's where I want the highest concentration of product to be. And then I'm going across the top of the crease. Since this is a halo look, I'm gonna avoid the center of the lid because this is where we're putting our pop of yellow. And even though we are gonna be putting down a base before we apply the yellow, we want to prevent any muddling of the colors and just having excess product there and having to remove it creates an extra step so avoid the center part of the lid and just keep blending out with your blending brush this is a morphe blending brush i will put the link in the description you want to make sure that you're blending out your product and building it up rather than putting excess and then trying to blend it out so just keep building it up i'm putting a little bit on my bottom lash line as well but i'm also going to be doing a highlight in the center of the bottom lash line so i'm trying to avoid that area now that the crease is complete, I'm gonna be carving out the center for the halo. I'm going back in with that same white concealer and I like to apply it in the center of my lid and then blink so that I get it in line and right where I want it. And then from there, I'm gonna blend out with a flat shading brush. It's super important not to get too much product in this step. So I only start with product in the very center and then blend out from there because you still do have some product left on your brush. Now, if you do get the dark shadow on the center of your lid, be sure to use a little bit of eye makeup remover or my water to remove that before trying to apply the white because you really want this to be a pure layer in order to get the yellow to pop as much as possible. You can see I'm using a combination of patting motions as well as sweeping motions along the edge in order to blend that white into the dark crease. This technique will ensure the gradient effect that we're going for with the halo is achieved. Also, you can always build up this color if you feel like the white is disappearing too much depending on what product you're using. You might have to do one or two layers. Be sure to keep them really thin to prevent any any clumping of the eyeshadow we're gonna be applying on top. Be sure to apply some white concealer to your bottom lash line as well. I try to keep it in the very center right beneath where the halo on the top lid is. Now it's time for the fun part. Grab a shading brush and a bright yellow eyeshadow. Sometimes it can be hard to find a matte yellow, which is what I used here. Just apply the yellow right in the center and then blend out with your shading brush to get that really vibrant pop of color. When you're applying over the white, that's really going to make this yellow stand out. I use my shading brush in a sweeping motion on the edges of the halo to make sure that the color blends in. And sometimes I go a little bit over where the white is just so that we can get that blend between the deep color and the yellow and it looks really natural and smooth. This layer is the most important to blend, so just keep blending until you're happy with how it turns out. Now that the yellow layer is done, I'm gonna be adding a slight yellow shimmer on top just to highlight this layer and give it a lot of dimension. So I'm using a fluffy shading brush just to lightly apply this shimmery yellow shade on top, on the bottom lash line, and on the lid. With a slightly more tapered detail brush, I'm going in the inner corner with that same shade just to give a little bit of highlight, as well as under the brow bone. Really quick before I throw on my lashes, I'm going to tight line around my eye. I'm using a black waterproof eye pencil on that bottom waterline as well as on the top waterline. Now I'm just applying waterproof mascara before I pop on my lashes. The waterproof mascara allows the lashes to blend in with your natural lashes. I'm using Duo Quick Set Glue, which is currently my favorite adhesive, but I also love the Silly George Liner Bond, so make sure you guys check out my review. My brows are microbladed, so I'm just throwing on a lightweight brow gel, but you're welcome to do your brows here. Now it's time to finish off the rest of my face. I'm starting off with a pore and wrinkle minimizing primer on a damp Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge. I like to apply with the sponge just because I feel like I don't get the excess oil from my hand on my skin, which can make your makeup not apply as well. 
Once my primer's done, I'm gonna let it set a few seconds and then I'm applying my foundation. I'm using the same Miracle Complexion sponge just on the other side of it. I like to apply only in the areas that I really need it and then blend out from there. This prevents your foundation from getting cakey and still ensures that you get the coverage you're looking for. Now the coverage I'm using is a buildable coverage, so I like kind of a medium coverage because I still like my freckles to show through a little bit, but this is a more full coverage look for me. I almost never do my makeup like this on a daily basis. I mostly just use color correcting tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna be using natural tan eyeshadow to contour today. I am not a fan of contouring and highlighting on a daily basis, but since this is a more glam, bold look, I'm actually going to be doing it. I know, crazy, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm not a fan of this for everyday wear, but I think it can be right in the right settings. And since we're contouring, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little highlight. I'm actually mixing the white concealer I used on my eyes with my foundation shade to kind of create a little custom concealer there. That way you can make it as light or as skin toned as you would like. This works really well for fair skin tones, but not so much for medium and deep skin tones. If you guys need recommendations on concealer shades, let me know. When you're doing a highlight, you wanna make sure you're highlighting the highest points of the face. So typically that is in the T-zone, as well as the center of the forehead and the center of the chin. I am not a huge fan of nose contouring or anything like that, so I'm just going to apply some highlighter, get that glow on, and then we're going to move on to lips, my favorite part. This shade is called Creamer. This is waterproof 18-hour lip scents. When you apply it, you apply three layers and let it dry for a few seconds between each layer. If you guys want a full tutorial on how to apply this, I will put a link down in the description. Now I'm just topping it with my favorite glossy gloss, and we are good to go. What do you guys think of the final look? I love a bold pop of yellow and I'm loving how this one turned out. Let me know down in the comments if this is something you would wear. All right guys, thanks for watching my makeup tutorial. I tend to do more reviews here on YouTube and a lot of tutorials over on Instagram, so make sure you guys follow me over there. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you can get all my notifications and don't miss out on any of my makeup reviews. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out Girl Scout.